Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of a new series I'm gonna start called the Species Spotlight. Kicking it off, we're gonna start with the Amazonian poison dart frog, or the Latin name is the Ranatomia ventrimaculata. So these are a small species of dart frog found in the Amazon jungle and throughout South America. These are also referred as the thumbnail dart frog due to their tiny size, growing up to about 20 millimeters in length, with males being slightly smaller and a bit more slender. In the wild, these frogs can be found amongst the leaf litter on the jungle floor. Ran up to male, like many other dart frogs, will use their vibrant colors to indicate they are poisonous to warn off other predators. So they get the name the poison dart frog from the poison they secrete through the glands in their skin, which they obtain from eating certain species of mites and other microfauna in the wild. But in captivity, they've lost their toxicity due to the diet we feed them of fruit flies and springtails. So I like to keep my tank stocked with isopods and springtails. They provide great enrichment and a food source for your frogs, whilst also keeping your tank nice and clean. So the isopods will eat any dead leaves and frog waste, while the springtails will eat any mold that shows in the enclosure. I wouldn't recommend Rana Tomeo for your first species of dark frog due to their size and their delicate nature. Rana Tomeo hit sexual maturity around six months of age for males and maybe a bit later for some females. Once the male is sexually mature, he will start to call out for the female. Once the male is called for the female, it will start to court, usually in some bromeliads or some film canisters. Once the job is done, the female will lay a clutch of four to ten eggs, which will then turn into tadpoles in a short period of time, and then they will stay in tadpole form for a few months. After a few months, the tadpoles will grow their back legs. Shortly after, their tail will start to dissolve and they will become some froglets.